So I figured I'd show you guys what's going on in the uh, the room and show you a little bit about my gear and everything before I leave for Antarctica. Um, I'll be honest, I'm getting a little scared, but uh, yeah, it's just kind of part of the whole experience, right? So what you see on my bed here is a lot of electronics and a lot of charging. One of the biggest problems that we have in places like Antarctica and on mountains is the fact that there is nothing to plug into. So what you do is you get these um, solar panels and you connect it through a cord like this. Ah, oh, sorry, it comes out here. Through a cord like this and it's connected to an adapter that I actually bought down here. Um, and then you connect that adapter to whatever you're using. And everything works really well as long as the sun lights out. And one of the great things about Antarctica is the sun's always out in January. But let's do a little recap. Actually, let me show you my jacket first. Waiting for my patches to dry. Those are pretty cool, huh? Got those made in Summit County. These guys are the ones who are supporting the trip. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. It wouldn't uh, have been possible without Marmot, Volition, and Grape Nuts. Uh, what you see here is my down summit, summit jacket from Marmot. It's an 8,000 meter summit suit. Um, underneath, I know it looks odd. <laughs> Who the hell is that? Underneath my TV. And the reason the TV's on there is because I took the patches and the way they're designed and everything, when they were cut out, I had to glue them onto the fabric. And underneath there, it's, the weight is pushing down on the fabric.